Hello, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and this week's harmonica lesson is going to look at how to get started bending. So this is for people who are new to bending uh, or have maybe tried it a little bit and are struggling. Um, so I'm going to give you eight tips to help you with your bends. So you'll need a C harmonica for this. And uh, first of all, let's talk about what a bend is. So a bend is something that you do on a draw note <clears throat> on the harmonica, and it's where you lower the pitch of the note. So there, I bent down to the bend, and then I released the bend back up to the clean note. Uh, if any of you are guitarists, that might be a little bit confusing because on guitar you bend the other way around, so you bend up a note, but on harmonica you bend down a note. And basically what's happening, we aren't using any more or less air, we're just putting the air through a smaller gap, uh, and so it's going through at higher pressure and that's making the note bend. So let's have a look at the first of these eight tips for getting started bending. So the first tip is to do something called a tilt bend. So as its name suggests, you are going to tilt the harmonica to make the bend. So it can look a little bit like this. So I'm playing a four hole draw. And what you might find is that when you're doing that, it, it just goes silent. So what you need to do, you need to do everything within your power to keep that uh, sound coming through, to keep the air going through the harmonica. So you might need to kind of push your lip through and so it's a little bit further underneath the harmonica. And also make sure that you're really tilting that harmonica enough because what I tend to see people doing is they kind of tilt it to 45 degrees and go, oh well, nothing's really changed and I can't tilt bend. And that's silly. You've got to really get it kind of flush with your face. So one more time. Okay, so what I suggest you do now is I suggest you pause the video and you have a little go at seeing if you can tilt bend and then when you're ready, let's have a look at the next tip. So tip number two is actually trying to hit the bend without doing the tilt. So now that you've got a bend with a tilt, um, you know what it sounds like, you get a little bit of a feel for, for what it feels like, but normal harmonica players don't tilt to get the bend. Uh, when they're playing. So we're going to use a vocalization and that vocalization is going to be E, U. Okay, so if you think of the clean note, the start of the bend, as an E sound, and then you move back to an U sound, and that's going to get you into a good position for the bend. So let's try that without the harmonica. That'll be E, U. And now do it on an in-breath. So you should feel that your tongue is pulling back in your mouth. So let's try that with the harmonica. Okay. And then if you want to release it back to the clean note, you go back to the E sound. Okay, right. So pause the video, have a little go at doing E, U, see how you get on, and then when you're ready, let's look at the next tip. Okay, so the next tip, tip number three, is having a strong muscular tongue. So you're probably, you know, you're probably realizing that you need to move your tongue, and you might be flapping your tongue around in your mouth and, and kind of getting a bit frustrated and doing a kind of and kind of moving it around, and that's not what we want. We want a slow, strong, kind of tense tongue pulling back. So that's something really important to think about. So think about that slow, strong movement. Okay. Right, next tip to help you is don't pull too far back. So something that I hear a lot from my students when they start bending is this kind of thing. So you might have missed it, but what's happening is they're bending, but then they're coming back to a clean note. So I'll slow it down so you can hear it. So why, why did that happen? Well, that happened because they got into a good bending position 
and then they kept pulling the tongue too far back. And if you think about what the tongue's doing up against the roof of your mouth, so when you're bending, you're pulling the tongue back and it's closing this gap between the roof of your mouth and your tongue. And that's great. But if you then keep pulling back, you have a big gap again and you lose the bend. So you want to listen to what you're doing and listen to whether you're getting a good bend and stop yourself at that point. So that means you have to slow down the whole movement and stop when you hear the right note. So that's, the, you know, I'm pulling my tongue back like that. I'm not going, okay, nice and slow. Pause the video, have a go, working nice and slowly and listening to what you're doing. And then when you're ready, let's have a look at tip number five. Okay, tip number five, which is a good tip in general, is keep the harmonica tipped up. So this isn't like the tilt bend, which was just to get you started bending. This is what your general play position should be. So you'll see harmonica players have the harmonica tilted up ever so slightly. Some have it tilted up a lot. Some have it tilted up less, but people don't have it tilted down because that puts a break in the airflow, which we don't want to have. So if you have the harmonica a little bit tilted up, it makes the harmonica go deeper in your mouth and it'll give you more control. Okay, so my top lip is covering quite a lot of the top cover plate and my bottom lip isn't covering very much of the bottom cover, cover plate. So that means that it's tilted up and it's sitting quite deep. Okay, so give that a go, pause the video, and then when you're ready, let's have a look at the next tip, tip number six. So, tip number six is don't play harder. So, I said at the beginning that you don't need any more or less air. However, if you still haven't managed to get a bend, you're probably feeling quite frustrated, and you're probably starting to put some physical effort into it. It's not going to work. If you pull too hard, you're just going to make the, the harmonica fight you. it's not going to bend, okay? So play gently. I can bend and everyone who's a good harmonica player can bend with a light touch. You don't need masses and masses and masses of air, okay? So practice that a little bit with a little bit more gentle airflow. Okay, next tip, tip number seven. Don't move your mouth. So although we're doing vocalizations, we're doing you, and that makes us move our lips when we're doing it without the harmonica, you need to make sure that you're not moving your mouth shape from the outside. You should only be moving your tongue, maybe your throat while you're playing. So if you see externally, there are no signs that I'm doing anything different. It's all happening inside my mouth. So if you find that you're going like this, then you're moving your mouth, you're going to start hearing some of the other notes, uh, and that's, that's not great. So you need to keep the lips solid in the same position. Okay, right, final tip, tip number eight. Keep your tongue pointing forwards. So when I'm bending, my tongue is pulling back and up, but it's not rolling over on itself. That's really, really important. So keep the tongue facing forward. Okay, right, so what you need to do now is you need to concentrate on getting your first bend. So I suggest that you do that with the tilt bend. And then once you've got that, start trying to refine it a little bit. So if you can't get an, uh, an articulated bend by going e u, but you can get a tilt bend, what I would suggest you try and do is you try and tilt bend while saying e u, and you'll probably find that you can tilt a little bit less far and still get a bend. And if you keep doing that bit by bit, eventually you'll be able to get a good bend without tilting. So that's the goal. And then you want to refine it and get it strong and be able to hold it. So your goal is to be able to hold a bend. Okay, so 
Bear in mind, this takes a lot of time for a lot of people. Some people just get it and that's great, they're very lucky. But a lot of people take anything up to six months to get a good, strong bend on the four hole draw. So don't be discouraged if you're really struggling with it. Be patient, spend a little bit of time each day. Don't spend hours and hours and hours, just spend a little bit of time each day and just keep chipping away at the project and you will nail it. And uh, now you can do something for me. You can give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below and you can subscribe to my channel because I put a new harmonica lesson out uh, every single Wednesday. And uh, you can also click on the link in the description below to go to my uh, website for this lesson where I've got that checklist of all the things that you need to be thinking about when you're bending. So that'll help you as a reference. And uh, one more thing before you go, uh, I've got a new enrollment of my 12 easy 12 bar blues course for beginners. Uh, so that'll be starting very soon. That's a course where I teach you over 12 weeks how to play 12 different 12 bar blues tunes. And that'll get you introduced to a bunch of different techniques, including bends and warbles, glissandos, uh, following 12 bar blues progressions, different rhythms, and it'll really kind of give you some momentum in your play. So if you want to find out a little bit more about that, just click on the link in the description below. Thank you very much, and I will see you next week. Take care.